Do you know when you're lying? I used to not, but I'm really trying to focus on when, before I say something to take a minute and you know, try to make sure that everything I'm saying is 100% honest. When did that start? <laughs> Since talking with the show. Hmm. Well, that's interesting because, you know, deception detection is a science. It's not what you read in People Magazine or something. There, there's actually a science to this. And when people lie, there's what we call leakage sometimes. And like, for example, there's something called duping delight. It's where people will lie and they can't control all of their body and micro expressions in their face and all while they're controlling their words. And if you can raise the cognitive load on them at a particular time, it creates real problems for them. And there are a few things that, just a few examples that I picked out of your interview tape that I would like to take a look at where she's telling us things that she's confessing to um, with great pride. She just can't help from smiling, frankly, almost breaking out into laughter. Let's take a look at the first clip. Around 25, 26 is when I told my first big lie. And living the lie, what did you tell people? That I had cancer. All right. Play that again, and this time, watch her smile when she says, when I said I had cancer. Around 25, 26 is when I told my first big lie. And living the lie, what did you tell people? That I had cancer. She's proud of that. Absolutely. There, she's just smiling when she says it. Let's look at the next one. Um, I mean, I started off with like a husband and two kids. That was like my first like husband story lie. I would tell people that my husband's name was James. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, I'm looking at you now. And uh, look at you now with the expression that you have now and let's look at that tape again. It's her talking about her husband and James that doesn't exist. Um, I mean, I started off with like a husband and two kids. That was like my first like husband story lie. I would tell people that my husband's name was James. Proud moment. And right after this, she brags about how much mental energy it takes to keep all of this mm -hmm. going. Very, very proud of that. It took a lot of mental brain power to have to keep up the charade. So if you're, you know, playing, you know, hockey and like you want to like hit the puck, you want to like hold the stick and hit the puck, like you can't do that. And like you just, you have this, like you want to just grab the stick and do it yourself, but you have to like refrain from doing it. Now that's what I call duping delight. It's like she is saying, yeah, I lied about cancer. I lied about my husband and I, crafted all of this stuff and she just can't keep from like yeah my husband James we um do you see that in yourself I see that during yeah I mean I I didn't think that I was laughing about lying when they were asking those questions yeah that's why we call them micro expressions That's why we call it leakage. It's your unconscious expressing itself in contradiction to your words.